Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Bugs. Today guys, I'm going to be telling y'all my impression on Multiverses since I was able to be in the first and the second playtest. And I think my impression video is going to be a little bit different than others for the fact that I am not from the fighting community, I am from the shooting community. And I'm actually making the switch to this being my first actual fight I'm taking seriously. So hopefully this opens the eyes to a lot of people to see the potential in this game that it's actually even dragging people from other game genres into it. And before we actually get into the video, this is your first time ever watching one of my videos, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button, guys. If y'all are interested into Multiverse's news, updates, future gameplays, tips and tricks, and esports, then this is the channel for you guys. And let's get straight into it. So guys, all the way back, and I want to say December is when the first playtest happened. Me and my friend was able to get in. And you know, the game was NDA. You know, it was pretty cool, but for the fact that, you know, I'm not able to stream it or make YouTube videos, I was like, eh, not really going to play it that much. All right, cool. Play the first day, pretty lit, fun. Um, it was alright. And the second day, my friend played a little bit, but then got off. And then I played a little bit, and I was like, bro, it's cool, but you know, I can't stream or anything. And this this game is just not it right now. So the third day comes, and I don't know, I just get on, and I'm just like, yo, hold on, this game is actually fun. Started learning stuff and doing that. I was like, wait, this game is lit and then i thought the the last day was you know the third the third day but it comes out that it ended on monday like in the afternoon i was like I gotta grind and i was just grinding it all through that time uh when it came to the first build um what people have been saying like the game feel floaty in the first build yes it was very floaty um the gameplay was still solid i don't think they changed that much yeah they changed the gameplay a little bit make it more cleaner and stuff but that was the only problem i would say was in that first play test um net coding was solid they had no issues with that minor bugs i would say nothing too crazy and then the perk system they had perk system was actually free yeah i think the perk system was actually free and you could use whatever perk you just had to reach the level and then you could choose one perk and then two perks and three and then you, you know your unique perk when you got the character level and then when it came to the second test changes has happened so the floatiness in in the build one oh and the speed the speed was kind of slow in the on the first build so it comes to the second test Speed got way better. I still personally think the speed needs to be just a smidge slower. Just like like when I say a smidge, I'm talking about like a really smidge. But other than that, still love it. Um, the perk system has completely changed. Now you have to you know earn coins and purchase your perks throughout leveling up. You know to get to unlock the the slots, and you have to um you know pur purchase them, which I think is a unique thing to do. not unique. I think it's a solid thing to do because it keeps people. A reason to grind you know in the first play test we literally just you know had to hit the level and then we could put any perk on it was i guess cool and fast be like yeah, yeah i get to play and use whatever i want but it just takes one less value of actually grinding the game you know now this gives us another reason like okay i need to play to get these coins to get this perk that i want you know so it gives you more reason to play the game you know um and then i guess what is it called di di works way better than it did before and yeah the game just feels like very solid and i want to get into the characters of the game of you know pretty much how it goes so are you stark as i feel like a lot of people would have thought would it be s tier and yes she was she was very s tier um they had to do a lot of tweaking with her because she was uh very broken she's like a i want to say a glass bottle but yet she she's a combo master um, she definitely got some nerfs recently because, you know, she had this gimp that I'm pretty sure some of you have heard. If not, she had a gimp where she just keeps attacking you in the air and you're pretty much dead. That has been fixed. Now uh, you have to be more, you know, intuitive when it comes to your comboing and stuff. And it's not no easy one-two button and you're done. You actually have to learn stuff, which I love. Uh, moving on to Batman. Again, Batman was a S tier. Come on, it's Batman. Um, but the only reason what made him like a crazy S tier was his battering um he, it's pretty much like a projectile that's a free hit that comes back to him and at the time of the play test it always uh f like came back full recharge so you could keep throwing it as a combo and over and over and over and even when say he charged it up and threw it at you even when you dodged it i think it's a perk a unique perk that allows it to come back to him but even when you dodge it you had to dodge it again and then guess what when he gets it back in his hand you could throw it again so it was very very gimmicky and very annoying but still a solid player without it. Um, just nothing too crazy like up there. Like how Arya was with her her zero death and 20 death and etc. Um, Bugs Bunny. Uh, S A tier. 
um his gimmicks are just amazing with his um projectiles you know the safe uh his his like sidekick a whole bunch of stuff from him pretty solid um don't want to spoil too much you know of everything because i want y'all you know to be surprised somewhat but pretty much just want to tell y'all like what, what made the crazy changes and see that they've been toned down to make it more fair and fun for everybody you know character wise um finn the human i think finn the human is actually gonna be crazy in this playtest but in the previous playtest he wasn't S tier, but he was a broken character due to the fact that his hitboxes were kind of janky. I'm talking about like his 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 hitbox would go off before his animation go off, so that's what made him broken. Um, but then again, he wasn't too crazy. But I heard he got some nice fixes and stuff. And one quick small leak about Finn the Jake is that he has a shop um, where he could choose to have a speed boost. I want to say some type of shielding that pops up in front of him. And guess what, guys? He could pull out Bemo. Solid um you know weapon to use um in battle if you hit it correctly garnet okay so all i want to say is garnet has been very 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 looked at and reworked a lot and buffed um for this new playtest so if you have seen my um previous tier list a lot of these like i said take it with a salt uh, take it with a green of salt because a lot of these uh tier lists are kind of just going to be wrong in this new playtest but it, these tier lists are pretty much during the you know this, the last playtest and garnet was a bottom tier and it was because not a lot of people played her but also because she was pretty much locked into most of her views so if you don't know most of this game you are allowed to cancel i want to say majority of your moves garnet was only one of the characters that was pretty much locked into her moves and i think the reason why is because if you don't know garnet is a Yo, big puncher she <laughs> she packs a punch and i think that's what they did to slow her down um for ones is where you really saw it too is she was still good because you know she has a lot of team you know stuff that boosts your stats and all that stuff but um yeah they definitely reworked her and changed her can't wait to see how she actually is now um dev's been talking to up, her up like she's actually like very solid which i can't wait to see uh moving on harley now i know a lot of people that uh, that knows me is gonna be think i'm being very biased but harley is a bottom s slash top a tier and a lot of people think she's very broken because she's fast and she has this bomb and etc and the balloon and her her kit is what makes her amazing in my opinion she isn't too like oh my god like these other characters but the reason why i think people think she's like oh my god so perfect and broken is because i feel like harley quinn is literally made or built perfectly she does have one or two things that I would love to change, but it's not that crazy. But I feel like Harley Quinn, like the devs have hit the nail with her as in she don't need no buff. She don't need no nerf. She could literally be like this for the rest of the game because she's just that built perfect at the moment. In, in my honest opinion, against everybody else right now, she's literally that built perfect. That's all I can really say about that. <laughs> um and there has been changes so for people um from the playtest i don't know or and for current people that I didn't know um she had a bomb you know the, the bat bomb when you threw it on people it stayed there forever now that has changed now it has a timer so there you go for people that used to complain about that uh jake the dog jake the dog i will give him a b tier very solid and very i feel like he's a noob killer so you know you know games have those characters that are just dominating noobs i feel like he's a noob killer and the reason why is because he has this move set as you can see and know about jake the dog is like a stretchy punch and let's just say the dev said they kind of like buffed it even more too so uh can't wait to see how that is but pretty much let's just say that move is very spammy and so fast to react to so definitely new players stay away from jake or you know stay awake going against him because he's gonna be very annoying and pain but well, everything else is pretty solid um the, ho the whole bouncy thingy i feel like that should be nerfed so if you don't know is that when he turns into a house like an anvil like kirby uh, when you go down and say say you're getting hit up in the air right and if you go down and hit your opponent instead of your opponent going downwards you actually hit your opponent upwards so it's kind of a very punishable move to not try to kill jake the dog upwards or sideways because of that feature what happens with the house which is kind of crazy to me but hey Hopefully, you know, more people talk about it and that gets changed or, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, Rain Dog. Oh, my God. This dog has scarred me for not one, but two playtests. So the first playtest when I told you I got into it, right? I'm playing 1v1s and I see a Rain Dog in 1v1. I'm sitting here like, why is there a Rain Dog in 1v1? Like, are you dog? Like, this is so free. When I said this kid humbled me 
I play best of threes all the times. So you're 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 scared if you don't play best of threes in this game. I don't care. You have to play the best of threes. This guy made me walk away from what I just said. <laughs> it beat me so bad. I was like, you know what, man? I'm learning this fighting game. I don't want to get mad. You have a good day. And then the second play test comes around, and I'm just like, all right, bet. Here we go again. I face him in a 1v1 tournament, and I lose to him. But it's okay because that kid ended up winning the whole tournament. But the reason why I lost, in my honest opinion, is because I was getting spammed by fireballs. So he had this thing where he has projectiles, but he was just so spammy with it. And that's been changed, thankfully. Now he has an ammo counter. I think I'm going to say it's 3 to 4, and then, you know, it's slowly, you know, when the timer goes up, it's a cooldown pretty much, and you get one by one. So thank God. I think that was the only thing that made him very busted. Other than that, solid character. I'll give him A tier and probably um, ones if you know how to play, play with him and be um, passive. And then very solid in twos. I would still give him A tier, possibly even S tier, because his support, if you don't know, he could connect to his teammate and drag them into back to him. And also that line that um connects him him and the teammate, yeah, it damages enemies if they're in between it. One 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 one, you know. So definitely a um a damage um upper or however you want to say it. Shaggy. Oh my god. I wanna give Shaggy a top B tier or a low A tier. Um the reason why is because just again compared to the other characters he's solid but he's more of a high tier learning character you know you had to you got to know your your spacing with him to, to really take up a notch with him to really play him at a high level but if you're just trying to randomly put him in pubs against you know random people you're gonna win you're gonna lose but um you know ultra instinct amazing you know if you always get to pull that off you know distance yourself to where you could get that off very solid packs a heavy punch very good steven steven universe now i heard there's a lot of people that just hate steven just because of the show well sorry to bust your bubbles if you really hate steven but steven is an s tier all around steven even though he's literally a support character he is an all-around player literally so for once i want to give him probably an a tier probably an s tier um he could definitely be an s tier number one if someone perfectly perfectly learns him but as of right now, he's going to be known as a A tier, probably a bottom S tier for one. And then for twos, he is the number one twos character in the world. And the reason why is because you have your normal dodge and you have your neutral dodge. Your neutral dodge for Steven actually gives you a bubble, not for only him, but for his teammate. And it takes a couple hits. I want to say three to four hits before it breaks. So for hitting him out his bubble, it takes three, four hits. Cool. It's going to be kind of hard for him to react, but for the fact that he also can save his teammate from anything, Lily just gets a bubble up and then counterplay right back to you. Very broken. Not only that, he also has a um, thing like Rain Dog where he connects to your t his teammate or something, and then he has a blast after two to three seconds. So even if he's getting comboed wombled, he literally has a blast if he pops that before he gets combo wombled, and if you're in it, you get hit with a crazy knockback. Not only that, he has two shields that he can use, sideways or up and down. Oh, did I tell you that this fucker can fly? Yeah, sorry for the language, but this fucker can fly. Yes, he can fly with his shield, with his up move. And not only that, after he uses his up move i think twice and it plus puts the shield out he can only have two shields out i think i want to say the side one and the up one so you can't see two up ones or two side ones but guess what when he doesn't have his shield in his hand when he's doing his up special he claps like a motherfucker and he goes crazy so yeah oh let me go tell me about his best friend watermelon steven oh my god and don't let me forget to add that he has this bubble that he gets to do that he puts on you and then after five six hits you turn into a bubble and he could perfectly time in gimp not really gimp you but you go up oh my god let's just say steven is a very hard character to learn but his potential when this open beta happens in july oh oh yeah and and when you you know spawn the watermelon you know he heals a little bit too you know just like fyi that uh yeah steven is um yeah, I'm not even gonna tell you his combos. You're gonna you're gonna have to learn that on your own. Yeah, I'm not gonna let y'all learn about that right away. Yeah, y'all gotta learn that on your own. Moving on. <laughs> Superman. Oh my god. So Superman had a very god tier gimmick that thankfully got changed. Kind of, kind of still broken, but it got changed. Um pretty much Superman's ground moves are nearly all armor moves. And if you don't know what armor move is, pretty much where it gives you one hit to where you're not interrupted. So I think you still take damage, but you're just not interrupted. So after, you know, them breaking it, you can let go of your attack and then, you know, you have um, priority pretty much. 
And pretty much all his moves did that. And remember guys, I told y'all, you could cancel out your moveset. So guess what people found out? It didn't happen all the time. It happened like the last two days, three days. People found out you could cancel out of um, his moveset. So you're literally doing a charge, cancel dash, charge, cancel dash, charge, cancel dash, charge. Can and yeah, pretty much he was like literally untouchable. You literally have to time it correctly or have an armor break move or have a person that could do multiple hits. And even multiple hits kind of was hard to really take him out of that set because, you know, you could, you could time it time it perfectly and etc um but that's been changed with the whole dodge meter at the bottom you have to have some type of bar for it to work so thankfully that other than that he's a super tank now as you, as you can see right now he used to be a bruiser but he's a tank kind of makes more sense because you know um in the play test and i'm pretty sure in this play test you're gonna see a lot of supermans living up to like 180 maybe even 200 <laughs> he's a tank um tom and jerry now nah, sorry to burst some of y'all bubbles at least you know, from my experience from the tournament and the um just playing the playtest, Tom and Jerry uh, was very broken in the second playtest because he had a perk with um a firecracker. And let's just say it was infinite, just something like Rain Dog. You literally could just hit it over and over and over and over and over and over. And I had oh my best friend, you Unicorn Gamer from Nasby used that character and used that move set nonstop. And let's just say it was a very fun time. But Enough people complained about it and noticed that it was really bad and the devs patched it up in the middle of the playtest. And it kind of just made him, not say useless, but you know, he didn't have that broken gimmick anymore. So it kind of just made him how he's supposed to be. And I think down the line, he's going to be solid because I ain't going to lie, those tennis balls and projectiles, if, once you people get that down, he's going to be annoying, especially in twos. And ones may be harder, you know, to set up properly, but in twos, oh my God, you could set up some stuff that will kind of get people killed. Um, as you saw, you know, again with Shaggy with um, the devs, you know, how he hit hit um, Shaggy off the stage with that thing. Oh, he, he's gonna be something to reckon with. But right now, I wouldn't say he's like a B, probably, probably even a C tier to be honest. Like a low B, top C player. Um, Wonder Woman. Oh my god, Wonder Woman is just so solid. Um, she's a little bit slow in my opinion when it comes to the combos. But she's a tank and slash support player because she has a moveset where she puts, again, that armor thing on people puts it on herself and her teammate and she also teleports to her teammate uh, when she does that very solid she also has a shield move to where you could kind of like have your shield out like literally have your shield out and it's armored and then if your teammate is next to you they also get it and they could you know be the uh the starter up you know pretty much you yeah, yeah slowly could walk up and then your teammate could just jump out and attack your opponent and remember again has the armor so you know always gonna have priority so she's a solid character also could save your teammate um with the lasso or knock back your enemies with the lasso so amazing can't wait to see what they did i didn't hear too much changes with her but i i could promise you all these characters probably got something new especially with their um perks or just move sets changes you know this game is still developing guys the game is not done so that's why the end of the day was a thing because they're always changing stuff and i can't wait to see what they do um, and then finally, we have Velma because we don't know how the hotel is played at all. Besides, you know, he's gonna have a tornado move because we saw in the cinematic. But yeah, and an Iron Giant, as you can see, he is not ready. He doesn't even have a special move set. If you go to his web, if you go to the website, he doesn't even have a special move set. So he's still in development. And then yeah, Taz, we will know uh, tomorrow. <laughs> but Velma, oh my God, Velma is the most broken character in the game. She is literally number one overall. And not number one overall, as in like she's actually that crazy. It was just the fact that she was literally that broken that I'm just trolling right now. Like obviously she's gonna get nerfed. I'm pretty sure she already did, but I don't know the information because I didn't really ask. But um, Elma is just so broken. She has so much stuff. She's a support player. They really should just name her a mage because she has so much. She has a microphone. She has words. She has speech bubbles. She has calculate. Bro, let's just say like she's literally just all range, and it's just weird and gimmicky, but it is fun and hilarious, and she is broken like her cooldowns are somewhat a cooldown but let's just say she's, she's broken she also has a cop car um pretty much you find these clues around the map and then when you get six or seven um she calls the cops but i think that's gonna be changed to the um you know the mystery van but let's just say she's just crazy she also has this um chemical potion that she throws on the ground if enemies stand on it for too long they actually get frozen um like how superman has a breath like the frost pretty much something like that but worse Let's just say she's very broken. Um, I expect a hard, hard nerf on her, like probably on cooldowns and probably knockback and stuff. Because guys, when I say she was broken, my God, she, she was just, she was fun. I ain't gonna lie. Like, like it's one of those like, hey, we have a new character, play with her and tell us what's wrong with her type type stuff, and just making them 
stupid broken and then you know fixing her up later and i expect her to be kind of more down in the b tier um definitely helpful in twos but probably so useless in ones if someone's like very aggressive on her um i think that's it for um the impression gameplay wise like i said the perks are cool now um game sped up um the net coding is amazing in my honest opinion and yeah this is an impression from a person that has never played a fighter in her life but yet still did good in the tournament <laughs> got seventh <laughs> lost the first place and second place so i don't feel too bad even though you know i got spammed by battering and then i got spammed by rain dog fire two two <laughs> um but yeah i think think that's it guys for people that was very interested into the game before they get to test out the game for themselves tomorrow um how the game also plays like fighting wise Think of a traditional fighter on a platform game. You have your combos and your strings, and I think that's what makes this game so unique. It's just so different, you know. People might want to compare it to Smash or Brawlhalla. Let me tell you right now, it's nothing like Smash, other than I guess being a platform fighter. Brawlhalla, in a way, I guess it is because of no blocking and shielding, and you dash and you dodge. Not even, you don't even dash in this game, you only dodge, but you can use the move set like like wave dashing and stuff, like how Smash is. So it's, it grabs a lot from a lot of platform fighters, but let's guys, it is very unique in its own game. Like when you play, you'll be like, yo, this is nothing like anything else. Um, And when you go into this game tomorrow, guys, don't try to think of it as the new Brawlhalla, the new Smash. Think of it as multiverse. That's what this is, and that's what they're trying to be, their own thing. And let me tell you guys, it is their own thing like i said it, I, this game is so unique and so in depth with their characters man i don't see no other game being in depth like this especially in a fighter man so literally go into this game with an open mind and actually take the time to learn don't be like oh it's not like smash oh it's not like brawl it's not like ether it's not like nasby no go into this as in what is this game about am i interested into this game is this something i could get into casually or competitively and tell, I'm telling you right now, either way, what path you go competitively or casually, it's going to be worth it, guys. PFG has so much planned, and they're ready. Let's just say they're ready. Um, but that's it for the video, guys. If you like, if you like the video, comment anything you know. Love, 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 love y'all comments, man. And I can't wait to see y'all tomorrow. I'm going to have so many videos up for y'all. Probably only like two or three for the fact that I'm going to be streaming. So if y'all want to watch me there, I'll be streaming it. Um, but yeah. Um, it's your first time ever watching one of my videos, guys. What are you doing again? Um, as you can see, I do news, I do updates, I do gameplay. I'm going to do tips and trips. I'm going to do esports. I'm going to do the tournaments. I'm going to do everything about this game. So if you're interested in any of that, hit the subscribe button, guys. And I'm out. Peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress. But it's getting tough, hard to find out.